So I'm not sure if you know my story, but um, I'm Nisi, and I um, used to weigh 280 pounds. Um, and at my lowest weight, I um, got to 180 pounds. Um, so when I try to motivate others, my favorite saying is always, I know what you're going through. I've been there. I completely understand. Who I look for examples are people who were heavy most of their lives and lost a lot of weight. That's encouraging to me. Um, and so sometimes it's hard for me to grab encouragement from others who's, who have had other situations. Um, but I totally cannot discount the hard work that people put in because I see it day to day to day when I go to the gym. Sometimes it's more comforting when it's someone that knows what you're going through. With that said, at the same time, I have found that I have forgotten at the same time what it's like to be in that situation. I'm thinking as the new Nisi and I forget sometimes what it's like to be the old Nisi. Now the old Nisi, when I was 280 pounds and I decided, you know what, I can't take this anymore. I am exhausted. I was 26 years old. I was 26 years old and a completely out of breath walking up one flight of stairs in my house. I said, that's it. I can't do this anymore. So I just started working out. You know, I joined Lucille Roberts, did a couple classes, um, did, then I started getting into the home DVDs and I did not change the way I ate. I would still have my Philly cheesesteaks, but instead of eating the whole thing, I would eat half of it. Um, I would still have french fries. Instead of eating the whole thing of french fries, I would only eat half of it. Um, so, with doing that, just cutting my portions and exercising, I lost 50 pounds because I was had such a sedentary, sedentary, sedentary? sedentary lifestyle that when my body actually started doing things, I started just dropping the weight. So, new Nisi is afraid to tell people that because the new Nisi knows that you can do it a healthier way. Can you do it by just cutting your portions in half and just working out? Yeah, you totally can. Do I want you to do it that way? No. Because you eat McDonald's every single day as long as you're at a caloric deficit. Could you eat McDonald's every day, single day, and still lose weight? You sure can. Is it the best thing to do? No. When you fuel, fuel your body with healthier foods and um, foods more dense in nutrients, your um, outlook on life is so completely different. You're happier. Um, people are always saying, you are like the happiest person I know. I say thank you because... I really am. I really am. Um, and you're, you're happier. You have more energy. You have um, less aches and pains other than the soreness from the workouts. Uh, you have less aches and pains. And and it's so... Um, it's such a different lifestyle. When I look back, do I wish I did it differently? Oh, for sure. Oh, for sure. I am... What was that? Um, wait, no. I started when I was 24, not 26. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yes, because I've been doing this for 7 years. So I had to be 24. Yes, I had to be 24. And... Um, do I wish I did it differently? Yes, because I've had so many trial and errors over the last six and seven years I'm still every day I'm finding new things out you know you just keep researching and everything is not going to work for everyone it's trial and error and the problem is that everyone wants a quick fix we live in such a now 
society that everyone wants everything right now. I've learned so much over this last six to seven years. Um, I quote unquote was at my best. I say quote unquote a lot. I was at my best weight um, in 2009. Um, that's when I started mixing cardio with heavier lifting. Um, I actually lost my mother in 2009, but I, I kept the weight off as I cared for my father who had Alzheimer's. In 2010, I became more muscular, but I actually went up a little bit in weight. Um, I was like 190 in 2010. And um, then 2011 came, and then 2012, and uh, I, by 2012, I had gained 55 pounds back of what I had lost. And that January, I lost my father. So, I've been through a lot in the last six or seven years. Um, and, you know, not to compare it to anyone else's lifestyle. My story is my story. What you've gone through is your story. But, um, yeah, I've learned a lot over the last six and seven years through trial and error. My friend um, asked if I would be her bridesmaid um, in her wedding in 2013 in Barbados. I was like, you know what? I got to, this is my thing. I, I'm not going to say I'm going to get to my goal by Barbados, but... I want to at least strive to get smaller than I'm right now. So in 2012, I was 235 pounds um, in April 2012. We went to go try on dresses. I got my measurements and I said, this is it. That was the day. It was almost like when I first started. That day I walked up the stairs to my bedroom and I was out of breath and it just clicked. It was just like, no, this, this... This, this is not working for me. This doesn't work for me. So, um, just like that, that day we went to go try on the dresses and get measured. I said, that's it. I can't do this anymore. April 2012, um, I did what I normally did. I did home DVDs. Um, and I had started um, P90X. And I loved it. It introduced me to even heavier weights. Um, and so then in November, I was like, I need to step this up a notch. I'm not, you know, I started losing some weight and everything, but it wasn't flowing the way I was used to. So November, I started lifting at the gym um, with uh, splits and everything. And um, right now, I'm on a really good roll. I am 10 pounds away from being back to where I was in 2009, but I have to say my inches and measurements are exactly what they were in 2009. And that's what I have to say about weightlifting. I started getting into the gym um, in November. Um, Physiques of Greatness, which is a great YouTube channel here on YouTube. Um, had a series for women, how to get them into the gym, um, lifting weights and everything. Um, and my boyfriend encouraged me to do it. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to give it a shot. And I absolutely love it. I hated the gym. I despised the gym. But I started lifting weights in the gym. Oh, beast mode on, man. It is on and popping. Like, I absolutely love every single minute of it. So, since April 2012, I have lost almost 40 pounds. And I am this close to getting back where I was weight-wise. But it's you can't say that because I have more muscle mass now than I had back in 2009. Um, I'm lifting heavier. I'm lifting more often. And it's a different type of body now. Um, so I'm sure that 10 pounds that I'm waiting on is just, you know, uh, muscle mass because my inches are almost exactly the same as they were in 2009.